Thank you. Oh, yeah, I do need that. It's going to be so much fun. Best topic ever. I was really excited. So thank you so much. And because um, I've always wanted, uh, wh wh which way do I point? I don't know. There you go. Ah, am I pointing this way? Yeah. My four favorite fuck ups. Yeah. <laughs> um, such a cool topic. Okay, so this is going to be super embarrassing and hopefully you'll learn a lot. My first one, I like to call my Gucci Chanel fuck up, which will become clear very soon. And it's probably my most embarrassing and probably one of the first ones that I ever made in my business career. And it's about 15 years ago. And I had a, well, my ex-husband and I had a business where he was a Pilates instructor and we had a small Pilates physio studio in, um, in Wellesley Street. And it was our first business, had no idea what we were doing. He did Pilates and I did the business, but I didn't know how to do business, so it was very entertaining. And um, But I got really into it. I read lots of books. I had a coach. And it was really, really, really stressful, very, very lonely. And we finally got to the stage where we are just making enough money to kind of get by. It's about six months in. And it just was my entire personality was wrapped up in this business and making it amazing. And it was going okay. And then one day I went to my car, my VW Golf station wagon, obviously, because I had two little kids at the time. And I lifted up the windscreen fire, um, wiper and there was a flyer on it for a Pilates studio down the road that was opening. What's more, the colours were the same as our colours. I was so upset. Like, I was angry. I kind of could feel this heat going through me. I was absolutely enraged. I just, maybe looking back, slightly overreacted. Yes. Um, I was, I felt scared. It came from a complete face of scared. I was like, they're going to take all our customers. I'm, what are they doing? This is just nuts, et cetera, et cetera. So I did what every sensible person would do in that, and I got my lawyer friend. This is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. I got my lawyer friend to write them a letter on, like, legal head, saying, you know, you're copyright infringing, blah, 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 blah. Such a dick. Anyway, um, not only was that a really stupid, idiotic thing to do and completely overreacting, I hadn't actually got our own copyright sorted, and they had, so yeah, that was great. <laughs> but as you can see from here, uh, you know, my lessons would be, don't take yourself too seriously. And I did take that through into my next business, and now I don't worry about competition at all. I'm like, you do stay in your own lane, do your own thing. In fact, I kind of encourage it. And the other important thing as well is, um, yeah, don't get distracted by your competition. Okay, number two. Do I have a gif in this one? Oh, I do too. Who remembers Jerry Maguire? So I've got my own version of my word is stronger than oak moment. And this was a lot, many, many years later. And it taught me a very valuable lesson. This one was quite financially hurtful. At the time, I had this client we'd been working with for well over two years, almost three years. Trusted each other, worked really well. It was about half of our revenue was coming from this one client. I had a full team. I had about 20 staff, so it was, it was a big big part of our business. And we'd agreed on our sort of rollover to have our you know retainer and what it was going to be and all that sort of stuff. Started working, worked for about three months. They hadn't actually signed the contract. But we'd started working on it, you know, we'd shaken hands, it was going to be fine, we'd been working them for years, et cetera, et cetera. So it's going to be fine, they just had to just sign it, that's great. And then one day I get this call from procurement, they're like, can you come in? And it was this really grey, rainy day, and I was like, oh, okay, well, finally they're going to sign it, that's great. Go in there, and I've got my client there, I've got procurement, and they're like, we're so sorry. We've just redone our budgets, and we're going to not sign the, we know we sort of said we're going to, but we haven't legally signed the contract, so you can finish up next week. We've had all our budgets cut. That was rather painful. Fuck up number two. So now I get everything in writing. And I really do think every startup should understand that getting everything in writing is really, really, really important because it took us quite a while to come back from that. And um, we pivoted very quickly. Oh, lesson number three. Cocktail making, just kidding. Um, <laughs> so... This is more recent, actually. This is only last year. It was quite funny. Um, one of our things that we do at Socialites is we do sprints based on our values. 
And about the middle of the year, we were focusing on excellence in everything. And one of the things we do for our clients is we create these weekly reports for them. And they love them because they get all these beautiful insights about their social commu um, communities, what's happening, all of that sort of stuff comes through in these, in these e emails. And we decided we could make them better. We could make them gorgeous. And we spent about two months, a lot of research, a lot of time, making these beautiful reports for our clients. Like stunning. It had everything in it. Like if they were a cocktail, it would be like a cosmopolitan smashed with an espresso martini. It was just everything that you would want in a cocktail. Um, then about six weeks in, I realised we hadn't really had any comments back from our clients about our beautiful new reports. So I started ringing them. And they're like, oh no, those are so annoying. Can you just send us some bullet points? So my note would be, don't make your customer a cocktail when they just want a beer. <laughs> ah, my last one, also thoroughly, thoroughly embarrassing. So picture a room like this, but with about 100 old people. And I say that because it was the, what's, I'm going to get the words right, the National Association of Celebrants of New Zealand. I think that's right. There's a lot of associates in it. And they'd asked me to come down to Wellington and do a talk to their members about social media. And I was like, yep, that sounds great. And, you know, the celebrants at weddings and funerals, and they do tend to be a lot older in, well, this particular conference. So I was helping a whole lot of people learn about social media, and it was going pretty well. You know, we had to teach a few people how to turn the computers on, but in general, we were getting there. And we had a screen a lot like this behind me. And I was on Facebook showing them how to use Facebook pages. I think at the time I was doing a, like, this is how you insert an image and do some copy. I was like, okay, big room like this. Bigger, well, yeah, two, two, three times the size. Suddenly, ding, Facebook message. What's going through your head right now? Times that by 100. It was that bad. On this massive screen. You know, it was at that moment, because everyone just sort of started laughing. It was, and it was really, I'm not going to describe it, but it was really, really, really bad. Um, I totally understood the expression, you want the floor to open, so you can just jump in. Like, I literally, that would have, I would have been so happy if that happened, but it didn't. And what ensued afterwards, in retrospect, it's kind of funny, because it was like a, a like a comedic moment where I'm like trying to unplug the computer and I'm trying to shut it down and then plugged it, you know, plugged it back in, thought I got rid of it, comes back up on screen again. Everyone's just lost it in the, in the audience. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm never going to, I'm going to just absolutely, this is not okay, this is not okay. Took about five minutes to get everyone calmed down. Carried on. I was like, I'm going to have a panic attack. No, I've got to keep it together. Did, anyway, did the talk. That was great. But I did learn some very valuable lessons. Well, two lessons really. One, always create a demo account, people. Anyone in tech here, have a demo account. Do not use your personal account, especially if you've got a big screen behind you. Um, and also, people are really forgiving because they asked me back the next year. Thank you. <laughs>